And I'm going to give you your answer to the question right now. And the answer is no. A Moomoo Top is not OP. But it was a really funny game and I really wanted you guys to see it. Uh, if you're coming from uh, the YouTube homepage or the Up Next feed or you're not a current subscriber, my name's Excoundrel. I mostly do educational Wild Rift content. I focus on esports analysis. I focus on champion guides and game breakdowns. And I'm currently nearly Diamond 2. I think a couple of games from Diamond 2. I had a horrendous day of games on the weekend, as you can see. Like, just, just many, many losses. And then it came about... 12 a.m. Um, and my my mate Chief, who is uh, an ex AOV like top 50 or top 10 player, he's like a really good AOV player who now plays a little bit of um, Wild Rift. Um, he is a German streamer, and he decided, "Oh, do you want to play some?" And I said, "Yeah, sure, let's play." And then we went on an absolute monster win streak. And as you can see, um, I don't main a specific role. I kind of play everything. So I played a bit of Malphite Top. I played a lot of Jinx. Uh, as you can see, had some banger Jinx games because Jinx is absolutely broken. Played a little bit of Alistair. Played a bit of a Moo Moo. And then played a little bit of Orianna in the mid as well. Where I went 0 2 20. I just couldn't get a kill. But I had like assists. I was like support Orianna. I had like assists everywhere. The game that we're going to focus on is this game though. This game right here. Uh, before we get into it though, if you enjoy the content, feel free to like, subscribe and hit the bell. And also thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. Uh, I played a Moo Moo Top accidentally what happened was and don't tell my team this because i told them that i couldn't select and champion select what actually happened is i was too busy typing um to my team and i didn't realize it was my turn to pick so it randomly defaulted me to a mumu for some reason which of course was bad because chief had already selected shivana and the mumu is not particularly good anywhere on the map other than in the jungle uh so i had to play a mumu top lane and that was a bit of an error I'm going to analyze how I approached the game with this incredibly bad pick uh, and how I played for my team. I focused on macro to win the game and then essentially allowed to, you know, supported the people who were obviously going to carry, which was the Jinx and as you can see, Chief on the Shivana. Um, and I'm going to go through how I did it whilst playing a really terrible top lane pick. So anyway, apparently chat this game was really funny. Um, and I wasn't recording, and you can't see chat, obviously, when you're in doing a replay analysis. So apparently it was very funny, because obviously I'd picked a Moomoo Moo top. Um, I wish I'd recorded chat, because apparently it was hilarious. Everybody on my team was really supportive, though. The last pick wanted to play Fizz, and he ended up playing Jinx instead. So he was really supportive, um, and I basically, because I accidentally trolled, everyone kind of knew who I was for some reason I, I do get people who recognize me in game but like everyone in the team recognized me and so they were just like is this going to be some YouTube content and I was like if we win <laughs> if I troll and run it down it's probably not going to be YouTube content um so look I'm against a, a, an Akali in lane you're gonna have to see how I played the laning phase to really understand what like how to play a bad matchup okay I can't get near minions okay I don't want to get near minions. I just need to get the passive gold and passive experience. You don't actually lose that much by not last hitting. You lose a little bit, but it does, it's not the end of the world. You don't actually lose a huge amount by not last hitting. I would rather not die um, and feed than lose like 300 gold in the laning phase because I wasn't able to last hit. So really, all I'm doing is letting the Akali push whilst I hug my tower. The worst thing that I can do in this scenario is let Akali hit her first ability, get an empowered basic attack off, jump on me with her shuriken and kill me. Because she will. She will kill me. Like, there's no way a Mumu can fight an Akali in the early game. So all I'm doing is I'm looking to get this minion wave to my tower and claim as much of it as physically possible. Now, obviously, the Olaf, the enemy Olaf, there is a good chance that he might try to tower dive me. There's a good chance that I am going to be... Like, if the enemy jungler is smart... He sees this wave stacking up, he, he wants to punish me for playing an absolutely terrible pick, and he'll look to tower dive me ASAP. So, that's the way that I think would be the, uh, you know, would be the sensible thing to do here. Now, obviously, I'd taken honey fruit, so I'm just going to claim my honey fruit. And at this point, I'm now just looking to claim as many of these minions as I can, without Akali absolutely destroying me at the tower. And luckily, we managed to get away with it. It's not, it's not pretty, we take a bit of damage doing so, but we actually claimed a significant amount of those minions. Now, I noticed Olaf just showed up at the bot lane, and there's absolutely no way that I want to get tower-dived, and I'm perfectly okay with kind of just warding and baiting the um, the Olaf in a little bit. I see my Shivana's coming, and I immediately just kill the uh, Olaf. Now, obviously, Akali is going to kill me here. I try to... I flash a little bit too late and get ignited, but she has to jump dive under tower 
and then my Shivana ends up getting two kills off the back of this. So actually, I recognized the tower dive was coming. I walked away from the tower dive. Uh, I forced Olaf to commit, and, and like Chief had managed to hit level 5 already, so he was able to immediately engage and pick up two kills, which was obviously a big deal, because that's now Shivana with two kills in the game, and especially coming up to the first dragon in the game, if she can get her ultimate back, which there is a whole minute for her to do so, then we are probably in a strong position for a dragon fight. Speaking of dragon fight, that is going to be something that I want to be attending. I'm an Amumu, after all. I have a really, really, really big team fight impacting ultimate, um, and I clearly want to be involved in the dragon fight. Now, I'm massively behind in levels. You can see I'm kind of dropping behind in levels versus the Sakali. I want to show you what I'm building first. So I'm building Abyssal Mask first, um, which is obviously kind of like a semi-damage, semi-tank item. Um, I thought it was important to, to build Abyssal Mask first because um, I, I wanted something to be able to help me... Uh, I wanted something to be able to help me, like survive the lane but also retain some utility in team fights and we're up we're up against an ap malphite support we're up against the norelian soul mid we're up against an akali now there was a big minion wave why did i step up to the minion wave to actually attack it i knew that if akali jumped on me and tried to kill me in the minion wave i would have the minions on my side and i have a bit of magic resist to work with uh, and with the, with, the, with the big minion wave starting to stack up to akali there, i mean there's absolutely no reason for me to stay in lane i might as well rotate over to this dragon fight so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom out here so they're, they're setting up for it. Akali's still trying to, like, either freeze or hold on the side lane. I immediately ult, force Olaf to burn his ultimate, force the flash out of the Aurelian Soul, who's incredibly low. Uh, and then we get the kill onto the Olaf, who now can't compete for Dragon. Jinx pops off and gets a kill. That was a really big rotation for me, and it was really safe for me to do so for a number of reasons. So, there were a couple of reasons why it was safe. Okay, first reason... Akali was freezing my wave and letting the big minion wave push towards her. She wasn't trying to push my tower, so I wasn't going to lose my tower for that, that play. Secondly, um, I could see that she wasn't rotating, and I'm a Mumu, and I can impact the, the team fight ultimate. I can impact the team fight at the dragon really significantly. So if I just jump in and use my ultimate in the team fight, I'm like I'm, I'm already useful as an Amumu top. I haven't fed the Akali. I've used my ultimate at the dragon fight. Now Akali is two levels up on me. Um I thought that I was strong enough to potentially go at her because I have Mercury Treads and I have um, Abyssal Mask and also a Negatron Cloak. Sorry, I have a um, Catalyst and a, and a, and a Negatron Cloak. Um, unfortunately, I'm not strong enough. Akali is just that broken that uh, I can essentially just get, still get blasted by her. And as you can see, uh, I did just get blasted by her. The reason I was more aggressive in, in, in that part there is I genuinely thought that versus an Akali with just a, uh, a Vamp Scepter and a Hextech um, Gunblade, I thought I was going to be strong enough to survive, which I wasn't. So, you know, this is the first time that I've ever played a Mumu top. Lessons learned. Uh, don't ever try and go against an Akali, even if you do have lots of magic resist, because you're still just going to get blasted, which I did. Fair enough, Keenan. That was a bad play. But I learnt my lesson. You, you're not going to see me do that again because I learnt my lesson. So even with the amount of magic resist that I've got, there is absolutely no way that I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akali. In fact, for the most part, it's actually kind of pointless for me to try, be trying to play in the lane versus Akali anyway. My presence is going to be much better felt in team fight scenarios. Uh, and obviously the next big thing that we can look to consider is going to be the... Um, is going to be the... the Rift Hold. Now watch this. <laughs> I basically... Oh, and keep myself alive under tower, uh, and then Shivana comes in, and so does uh, Gragas. That was uh, basically a, a bit of a bait on the tower dive. I survived with a sliver of HP. I probably should have died, but the ultimate was going to go off regardless, just to make sure that I was able to get some help under tower, which is what happened there. Now, unfortunately, we don't get first turret in the game. Uh, I think bot lane got caught out by a, a Malphite ultimate, so we lost first turret anyway. So, as you can see, the enemy is actually in the lead right now. We actually we get a whole chunk of gold back. You can see see how much gold you actually gain for taking a turret, by the way. It is a pretty significant amount. Um, Shivana is, hasn't got dragon form, obviously, so Chief doesn't have dragon form for this upcoming fight around the Rift Herald. Uh, I'm going to leave this Siege Minion... The Siege Minion is not as important as joining the fight. Now, I see the entirety of the enemy team just suddenly, t suddenly turn up. They rotated their entire roster down for this. I think bot lane would, be, would have been better off just going for the top lane tower. As you can see, they crashed the minion wave to it. Um, I genuinely think they would have been better off going for the top lane tower. But they're, 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 I think also what you are seeing is they are coming to help defend mid. 
and the enemy team is very desperate to push the mid lane at this point. So, you know, I think that's okay, you know, the way that they approach this. Got another dragon fight coming up in 45 seconds. Now, for me, I think I've got teleport. Not yet. Don't have teleport yet. But I have just picked up a load more magic resist. My second item is going to be um, adaptive helm. Um, the reason my second item is going to be Adaptive Helm is because we're against an Aurelian Soul, we're against a Malphite, and we're against a, a, an Akali. So, obviously, very important that, um, yeah, there's another Akali here, by the way, and she just ults me. So, I have to flash immediately. She's trying to go for the engage. I do the same thing. I've got Aftershock now. Um, I die to Ignite. She dies to Tower. That's okay. Like, I take that trade, but I don't have my ultimate for the dragon fight now, which is important. However, I still think Akali not having ultimate is just as big of a deal, because she's not going to be able to kill the Jinx. So the, the, the only way they have to threaten the Jinx now is Olaf and Malphite ult. Um, and so I think, actually, that was an okay scenario for me. I also get onto the map slightly quicker than her, because, um, obviously, I died a little bit earlier, and um, I'm obviously a, bit, a little bit lower level. So they're going for the Drake. Shivana's a little bit uh, overextended, tries to go for the, the, the steal by herself, and actually we actually steal it with the um, with the Jinx rocket. Now, I see the, the Olaf in the pit by himself. I don't have my ultimate, clearly, um, but I am actually pretty strong versus AP damage right now. And Lulu gives me a really good ultimate in this scenario. Uh, for some reason, Olaf comes back across the wall. Lulu's killing everybody. Jinx is killing everybody. We, we Even with um, Shivana dying, we actually still had a really strong team fight now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Lulu just over overextends a little bit here. Uh, I'm not going to go in versus a, a, level, a level 11 Akali and a level 11 Aurelian Soul. The enemy is still in the lead, by the way. So, you know, we're still in a situation where the enemy is in, is in the, the driving seat of this game. Um, even though we've had some really good fights, we've also secured two Drakes. Now, with, with Drakes, you don't always see the... I think you don't always see the power of the Drakes in terms of gold value. I'm also massively behind in levels, though, because, again, I've been starred with experience. I've been sacrificing lane experience to kind of make my presence felt on the map. Akali overextends here. Um, I actually catch her blind, um, and I use my ultimate again to try and just make sure we get the kill. Olaf, th th there really isn't a way that he should be here, but we actually get a really good catch onto the Aurelian Soul, which is amazing. Um, and we can continue this, and Shivana does. I think Olaf just oversteps just a little bit too much here. He ends up dying. And then we have one Malphite just chilling on the sideline. That's an immediate turn for Baron, though. Like, with 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 my um, uh, Cry, Shivana in her dragon form, we have everybody on this side of the map. Kaiser is on the wrong side of the map. Uh, that's an easy dragon for us, it's just because we got a catch on Akali. So it was actually a really nice blind bandage toss to, p to pick up the Akali uh, and then eventually just then use the ultimate to secure the kill. I'm still massively behind on levels, by the way, though. I'm still level 10 somehow. Um, I was just waiting to pick up my Adaptive Helm, which I did. My Boot Enchant upgrade I'm going to go for will be uh, the um, will be the Teleport Boots, because I want to make sure I can teleport. Looks like Shivana's in a, in a duel without Dragon Form versus the Kaiser, which she does manage to eventually chase her down and kill her, which was very, very close. But uh, if, he had, if he had Dragon Form, he would have been fine. I absolutely screw up here, because basically... I thought that my, my team was not rotating to, to Kaiser. I thought they were much closer to me. So I was like, oh, wait a second. We, like, they don't have an AD carry. We could hopefully get a, ca a catch, but not the case. Lulu ends up dying. So we end up making a little bit of a, an oopsie. But um, Sh Chief still got Dragon Form. They're also going to try and catch the Akali out here, which they're, which they're able to with the, ult the Rocket Ultimate, which is great. Um, again, focus with our comp should be team fights because... We don't really have split push. Like, I'm an Amumu, not going to be split pushing. So our focus should be, for the most part, team fights. We should be looking to fight around dragons, neutral objectives, utilizing the Amumu ultimate, which is the only good thing about having Amumu top. Like, we should 100% be looking to fight in a 5v5 scenario every single time because we have a superior team fight. We have a much better AoE team fight. We have a safer AD carry range. We have the Lulu. Like, we should be looking to play team fights as much as physically possible. So I end up backing up. Um, I pick up the Warden's Mail. Why do I pick up Warden's Mail and not not the Bramble Vest? Because Bramble Vest will apply Grievous Wounds, which is good against the Olaf. Um, Warden's Mail uh, applies an attack speed slow. Why do I want the Warden's Mail over the Bramble Vest? Because likelihood is, the only thing that really gets massive value in terms of Bramble Vest right now is going to be versus Olaf. And Olaf, if he's attacking me, he's wasting his resources. 
Uh, he should be looking to go for the Jinx, realistically, or even trying to burst the Shivana. So, if Olaf attacks me, to be honest with you, the attack speed slow is still a good thing. Um, what's more important for me is attack slowing the attack speed of Kaiser, because slowing the attack speed of Kaiser means that she's going to apply, apply her passive less quickly, and that's obviously going to be really important for, for keeping the team safe. Now, Gragas makes an excellent pick here, straight onto the Akali. I see a good opportunity for an ultimate, which I land. We get an insane team fight. Like, you, you just saw the power of our team fight there. I saw three people grouped up. I straight into Bandage Totemumu Ultimate, straight into Shivana Dragon, uh, and then we get a free Infernal Drake, like nothing they can do about it. Clean ace, and we are absolutely in the driving seat. Even though the enemy team might be willing to give up here. I will look look but look at the gold difference. This is a good lesson for you. The enemy team probably are spamming surrender vote at this point, right? They're, they're probably saying, right, give up. Like we don't wanna we don't wanna play the game anymore. But look at the gold difference. It's only five thousand. Which is not that much, realistically, at this stage in the game. So the enemy team is still really strong. You compare my gold to Akali's gold. Akali still has 2,200 more gold than me. Like, I am significantly weaker. Although I would say I'm more useful, I am significantly weaker than my counterpart of Akali. Um, so, you know, it is something to be aware of. That you don't have to give up the game after one bad team fight Because, you know, you are you're still in a situation where... You could still win. Like, you still have a really strong assassin. I managed to last hit one of those four minions, by the way. Because I'm an absolutely excellent gamer. Um, obviously, with Baron spawning again, there is the, the option for a Baron take. Uh, Olaf decides to randomly ult in. I, I guess he was looking to check the, check the Baron. But I, I think, you know, just a little bit overzealous. Obviously, burning the, Amuma ult uh, the, um, burning the Olaf ultimate is actually a pretty big deal for a uh, Baron fight, which is why I'm hanging around here. Shivana does have her ultimate available as well. Kaisa is on the bottom side of the map here as well, too, by the way. The problem with Kaisa being on the bottom side of the map is that we can't just force Baron because we'd be forcing a 4v5 versus Norelian Soul. And honestly, uh, honestly, like, Kaisa can just take the inhibitor turret, which she's looking to do here. I immediately just flash ult. I just think it's better to get the kill onto Kaisa. Um, and then we can immediately rotate for Baron. They're not going to do Baron quick enough to, you know, to be able to... Um, uh, punish us for going for the Kaiser kill. Plus, they don't have an AD carry for this fight. Gragas gets picked up by the Akali, unfortunately. The, I mean, Aurelian Soul, I know he's in this brush, or at least I know someone's in this brush. Um, I don't know what happened to Olaf there. He kind of just disappeared from my view. Uh, he burns his ult. Unfortunately, the, um, the Jinx ult misses. I, I think, actually, it was better that I didn't hit. Honestly, I think it was better that I didn't hit that, uh, that bandage toss. Shivana uses an opportunity to just go in on the dragon. I think, sorry, the Baron. I think that was a good call. We forced Olaf back. We forced old Olaf's ultimate out. And then... Okay, and then we get the Baron. Sorry, I had to... Um, I got a random message that came through, which just was like a Blizzard verification number, which I think is because um, my friend still uses my World of Warcraft account to play World of Warcraft. I will get that sorted afterwards. I po In post-editing, I'm probably going to put a black box over that, just so you guys, you know, you know. If there's a black box that appears on screen, it's because I got a random verification code through to my message inbox, and obviously I don't want to give that away on a video. Not that it will matter. Probably will have been used by the time that I, uh, uh, by the time that the video goes live anyway. But, you know, better safe than sorry. So, easy Baron take because we forced the Olaf ult out and we forced him back to base. At the top lane here, Shivana going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akali. Too strong, I think, for the Akali at this point. Like, just really, really beefy. I have Teleport and I have Randuin's Omen now. So, you know, I've played, I haven't played AP Amumu here because I didn't have the gold to make it worth it. I've just played full tank Amumu because full tank Amumu was what the team needed. Now, Chief just goes in. He's like insanely strong, just like 1v1s the Olaf under tower. Um, the Aurelian Souls there as well, which we managed to pick up at the end. We are, we're in a, we're in a, a good spot. I and mean, now we're going to push down the, uh, the first Nexus turret. Obviously, Malphite just randomly ults into tower. At this point, he's basically trolling. Uh, and we're just going to run down the base. I think Kais is actually just teleporting away, and we end up winning. So, how did I win that game as AP? Uh, sorry, as as a Mumu top, a random troll pick that I didn't mean to pick. Didn't play risky in lane. I let the Akali push. Yes, I lost lost gold. Yes, I lost experience. But it was better than feeding the Akali. I was aware of any tower dive scenarios. There was a big tower dive that was planned for me at level four where the Olaf tried to run me down under tower. Um, Shivana reacted really well, looked at the map, and came, and we got, the, we got the double kill for Shivana, even though I did end up dying. 
Thirdly, rotated for objectives. Amumu is a team fighter. His ultimate is designed to be impactful in team fights. So I rotated for the first dragon, got a snowballing there. I was I made sure that I was present at every single dragon fight. I was not split pushing because Amumu doesn't take towers very quickly. I can't 1v1 the Akali, so there's absolutely no point. I went for a lower com economy build. I went for a build that was uh, designed to be useful, even though I didn't have as much gold as my opposite number. So I didn't go for damage. I just went for pure tank. Abyssal Mask, Adaptive Helm because there was lots of AP damage on the enemy team, and Randuin's Omen because slowing the attack speed of an Olaf and a Kaiser is a big deal, especially a Kaiser in a team fight. So those are the build that the, the items that I went for. I don't even know if I used my teleport once that entire game. By the way, probably could have been go better off going for a team fight orientated uh, upgrade, but nonetheless, the teleport was probably the correct decision in case I needed to teleport to a team fight quickly. That's how I won the games as a as, as a Mumu top. It was definitely a troll build. I don't recommend that you do it. But if you find yourself in the scenario where you accidentally pick a Mumu top, now you know how to win.